The nation is mourning the loss of Philly-born actor and comedian Bob Saget. The 65-year-old was found dead inside his hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando yesterday. His cause of death is still unknown, but there were no signs of drugs or foul play. Overnight, fans started laying flowers outside of the iconic house in San Francisco, where he rose to fame in the TV show Full House. Overnight, his co-stars, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, said that this of their TV dad. Quote, Bob was the most loving, compassionate, and generous man. We're deeply saddened that he's no longer with us, but know that he'll continue to be by our side to guide us as gracefully as he always have. Uh, Dave Coulier, who played Joey Gladstone, said simply, quote, my heart is broken. I love you, Bob, your forever brother, Dave. NBC 10's Reddy Joenhold following the local reaction here in our area where Bob Saget was born and raised and got his start in comedy. Randy, he left a big imprint here. Yeah, Bob Saget called much of this area home, born in Mount Airy and raised there. He went to Abington High School, graduated from Temple University. His death while on that stand-up tour in Florida, shocking his fans, including the ones here in Glenside at the Keswick Theater, where Saget was set to perform in March. The theater, since it's so close to home, so many people rave about him and they come into the bar before and after the show and just say how exciting it was, how good he was, and it's a shame that he's passed and he can't come in. It's just sad, sad day. From the Philly suburbs to worldwide fame, Bob Saget became a household name spanning decades of pop culture, playing Danny Tanner, the lovable single dad on Full House, hosting America's Funniest Home Videos. He was known as that charming dad on TV, but Bob Saget also had a raunchy side. His comedy routines described as brilliantly filthy. Now, Saget graduated from what's now Temple University's Lou Klein School of Communications. Just last week, he reflected on his time here with Jacksonville news anchor Bruce Hamilton, a fellow Temple owl. They spoke of their favorite Temple teacher, the late Lou Klein, who helped ignite Saget's career. He was like a dad to me. He liked me, and, I, and I was, uh, he got me an internship on The Mike Douglas Show. That was my first indoctrination into show business. So I was 19. I'd been making student films. He helped me tee up a film that I made, and I won the Student Academy Award. When you get a teacher like that in your life, uh, it's, it's a real gift. Well, the investigation into Saget's death now underway. He had just relaunched that stand-up tour and uh, visiting Florida, posting how much he loved doing it, saying he is addicted to that kind of comedy. His hometown fans now so sad, disappointed that he won't be able to have a final show here and a final visit to Philadelphia. For now, we're live in Glenside. Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News.